Lockdown has finally ended, which means I can finally go out climbing again. That means all of my plans for all of these new videos have been kicked into overdrive to get you guys more and more content and gear reviews over the next few weeks and months. If you haven't seen my videos over on the Climbers Crag YouTube channel, be sure to check those out as well. And remember to crank down on that subscribe button to get updated on our latest releases. Now, since I've been in lockdown, I've been scratching my climbing itch with sessions on the home wall, as well as pick me up buying sprees from Epic TV, getting ready to once again send some of those projects. So to kickstart this channel back into action, I'm going to run you through my climbing cruise typical carry, specifically what's in my crag pack, which hopefully should serve as a little checklist for those of you guys heading outdoors, especially for the first time. So what I'm going to do is go from right to left just to make sure that I don't forget anything uh, and hopefully give you guys a few tips and uh, ideas in terms of what you guys will want to carry as well. Starting off on the essentials, you do have a first aid kit and sunscreen. If you've got one, a snake bite kit also is something to consider. It's one of those things that it's better to just have and not need rather than need and not have one. In some cases, you'll also not have access to a toilet. So having a spade and toilet paper is one of those things that you'll want to have in your crag pack. Um, though it is preferable that you would just take your waste out with you. Um, again, it might just not be available as an option, but um, better to just have that. In terms of up here, we've got my water bottle. That's vacuum sealed so that it just keeps my water cold for as long as possible. You've got nail clippers and a sanding block. Uh, that's just for maintenance purposes. So if your nails break um, and the sanding block is just to file down those calluses. I bring along three types of tape. So you've got your typical climbing tape for your fingers. Uh, that is for splitters on your skin or the tips of your fingers as well as just having a bit more support on the tendons and pulleys. I bring along a roll of rigid tape as well. That's for sprains, but they do work as a substitute for finger tape if you are more of an inner pinch. And I also bring along a roll of Kino tape, and this is just to help support the wrists. And that's just because I'm very prone to tendonitis. So having the extra support just helps keep things in place a little bit better. And the Kino tape specifically has a bit of stretch to it, and that's why I use that for the support rather than the rigid tape. At the front over here, we've got my bouldering bags or chalk bucket uh, from Black Diamond and one from Metolius. That one is for sport climbing, as well as brushes because you'll want to clean uh, your routes after you uh, send it or work on it. Again, just good practice to try and remember to do so. You also have a guidebook. This one specifically is for the Grampians, um, but depending on which crag you are, you'll want to print out your topos. And that's just because you might be trying to rely on reception, but reception can be spotty depending on where you are, especially out in the mountains. Now, in terms of the approach, you'll want to consider a good pair of approach shoes or hiking boots. Now, some people do just wear sneakers and that's okay as well, but I do recommend having a good pair of hiking boots. These ones specifically are from North Face and are Gore-Tex. So they protect me from, you know, from rain um, as well as puddles. So it just keeps my feet from getting wet. And the boot side of things just is better for your ankles in terms of support because the terrain in terms of some of the approaches can be a little bit rough. So it just saves your ankles from rolling as a just in case. Now, one of the better tips that I'm going to give you is to bring along a pair of thongs or slippers for you Americans. And that's just because as you're going from boulder to boulder or from one side of the crag to the other, sometimes it can just be a very big hassle to put your socks on and put your approach shoes back on just to move, you know, 15 meters down the line. Um, so bringing along a pair of slip-ons is one of those better things to have in your crag pack. Now, in terms of warming up, if you've got things like resistance bands or as those um, squeeze balls, uh, those are something that you should probably bring along. It just helps to warm up before you jump on the rocks. Otherwise, you can just do the typical thing and you know climb some V-Zeros just to start you off. In terms of my climbing shoes, you've got my Phantoms or my Batora Acro Comps, and these are currently what I use for bouldering, and I use my Geniuses for lead climbing. For sport climbing, um, I have my pass for when I'm about to clean. 
uh, my Black Diamond Live Wires and my brother's DMM Alphas uh, for the quick draws. Also worth bringing along a few slings and that's just for setting up top ropes or just hanging your gear on trees or wherever you can hang them. You've got a beta stick to clip your first quick draws in. Again, more of a safety thing. You also have an ATC and a Prusik. So we use that for repelling. Though typically we don't repel. Um, one of us is just trying to learn how to repel. So he just brings those along. Um, a harness is the obvious one and belay glasses, which do save your neck. Um, I do recommend that you get them um, unless you're a fan of neck pain and looking up all day. Very much worth having a pair of belay glasses. Something that I've forgotten to bring out with me is my Black Diamond uh, helmet. So the helmet is something that is important. A lot of people I've seen risk climbing without a helmet, but falling rocks is very typical out in the crag. So it is one of those things that I do highly recommend. So I would say, um, you know, safety is a big precaution that you'll want to take. And that's specifically why we use things like the Grigri Plus Two um, and a pass. Uh, it's just to make sure that we are covering ourselves um, as much as possible and we try and choose the most idiot proof options available to us. What else? In terms of bouldering, you'll also want the crash pads. Um, so I'm sitting currently on this Metolius crash pad, um, but up here at the front, we've got my Edelrid Crux crash pad, which covers just a larger um, surface area. So just a little bit more safer. Um, and out back here, we've got the Mad Rock R3, which I do recommend. It comes sectioned in all of these uh, intervals and that just allows it to sit on uneven surfaces. It just protects you and helps you on various terrains. Though I will say that that is the heaviest out of the crash pads, even though this one is much bigger. In terms of the actual crag pack itself, I use a North Face Hollaback backpack. It is fantastic. It comes with a lot of accessory loops to hold all of your gear. So things like uh, the climbing shoes will just sit out here um, as well as the quick draws. I do wish that the inside did come sectioned um, off um, just so that I could separate things into compartments. But the space that that provides is really nice. So I do recommend uh, getting one though. I'm not sure if they still sell uh, this one in particular because this is the large size. You do have the rope as well. Um, and we carry this in a rope bag, which I think my brother's got inside. Um, and that just keeps the rope clean. Um, and yeah. Getting outside is a whole different experience and I highly recommend those of you who are getting into climbing to get out there and try instead of being stuck in the gym all the time. There's just something about getting away from technology and enjoying sending in the moment that can't be beat. For those of you struggling to put your phones down, I do highly recommend checking out Detox to help reduce that social media craving and live a happier, healthier life away from technology. I'll shoot a link down in the description below and if you have other gear you think I should add to my list, let me know down in the comments below. That's it for this video. I'm excited to get you guys more videos soon as well as a Magnus Mitbo special on the Climbers Crag YouTube channel. So keep in touch, stay strong, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.